Hi guys, I'm Naim and welcome to my channel. So here we are again sa ating bagong Makeup Chronicles. So, for today's Makeup Chronicles, I am going to have another review. So, medyo madami-dami yung mga lumalabas na bagong products ngayon. Being very enthusiastic about makeup, I really cannot wait to try each and everything. Pero hindi ganun kadali. Kaya, ayun. So we are taking it one step at a time. So, this time, the product that I am going to review is this one. So this is the anniversary bundle from Detail Makeover. This bundle includes uh, most of the new products that they released this month or last month pa siguro. Uh, this month lang siya naging available dito sa Davao. So lately ko lang din siya nabili. Packaging wise, sobrang attractive ng kanyang box. And you know, hindi siya ganun ka cheap tingnan considering that this bundle only retails for 999 pesos. So there is a tab here that you're going to pull para lumabas yung products. And these are the products included in the bundle. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, so we have their new metallic eyeshadow palette. So this is um, part of their new launch. Then we also have the illuminating primer oil, the liquid eyeliner, and of course we have the mineral loose powder. These are the products that I am wearing right now, and I review ko siya one by one. Si pa pangita ko sa inyo yung performance niya and how what I think about the product. I am going to show you the products one one by one. First and foremost, we will start with the liquid eyeliner. So this is the matte liquid eyeliner. So the net weight of this product is 4 ml and it is waterproof and long lasting as it claims felt din yung tip niya and it is a dip type so parang isasawsaw mo siya para makakuha ka ng product so i haven't been using this kind of product for a long time yung mga ganito kung nagtuyuan na talaga yung iba ubus na ganun so tatryo din natin gumamit ng ganito and hopefully marunong pa akong gumamit <laughs> So next we have the mineral loose powder. And so this is how it looks. Ang ganda ng packaging niya sobra. And when you open it, ayan, meron siyang mirror. Tapos meron din siyang puff na sobrang lambot. And then there's the product itself. So now we have the illuminating primer oil. This is a 30 ml product. Yung oil niya meron Para glitters, glittery gold glitters sa, sa loob niya. Sabi dito, it is luminizing, lightweight, and vitamin enriched. And finally, ayan, yung favorite ko talaga sa bundle na to is the Metallics 21 Colors Eyeshadow Palette. This is how it looks. And pag binuksan mo siya, ayan, meron siyang mirror na maliit lang. So, hindi yung buong, yung buong frame talaga yung may mirror. And then, here are the shades right here. So these are 21 shades in total. And sobrang sobrang ganda talaga ng pigmentation niya. Hindi ko alam kung paano nila nagagawang ibenta to ng mura na sobrang ganda ng kanyang pigments. And the feel is not powdery. It is sort of buttery. And tingnan niyo mga tingnan niyo naman in one swipe sobrang ayan no, sobrang litaw na litaw na yung kulay niya. And kung ano yung kulay niya doon sa dun sa pants niya, yun din yung kulay na lumalabas pag di-swatch mo siya. And it looks really, really, really pigmented. And yung color payoff niya, talaga sobrang ganda. The colors are very, very attractive. And I love how they named it after the stars. Yung, yun yung ano niya, yun yung parang goal niya, na parang it, it will make your eyes shine. Charot. Ayun. <laughs> and without further ado, here is my review. Ayan, so sobrang nakakasay talaga i-try itong Metallics palette ng Detail Makeover. So, unahin ko muna yung eye makeup ko using this. This palette has no matte shades, so nagamit tayo ng matte shades using another palette, which is also from Detail Cosmetics. And so, I am going to use the Autumn Eyeshadow palette, still from Detail Makeover. Start so, na tayo sa ating... Metallics. Ayan. So actually, wala pa akong idea kung ano yung gusto kong gawin na look. So I think I'm going to start with this shade. Itong Delta. Ayan. So this is bronzy. Tingnan natin yung pickup niya sa brush. Kasi syempre iba talaga yung finger. Iba din yung brush. Ayan. So this is a synthetic brush. 
Okay, maganda naman yung pick-up niya. Let's try applying it on the eyes. And wow. I'm just applying it on the lower part of my eyelids. Yung pigment niya talaga is undeniable. Whether on swatches and on the eyes, sobrang pigmented niya and hindi din siya mahirap i-apply. This is the first shade na ginamit ko which is the Delta. I'm going to add another color. Uh, let's add a lighter one. So I'm going to use this shade, this Capella shade. And I don't know, Capella ba to? So I'm going to apply this sa inner corner ng aking eyes. Wow, just wow. Just wow, grabe, wow talaga. I can't say anything. I'm quite speechless. I'm just point blank amazed with this palette, with these shades. Sobrang the blendability, aside from the pigment, the blendability is also very good. Let's add one more shade. Uh, Ang aking favorite name from Harry Potter. <laughs> this one, this shade, itong Bellatrix. So this has um, parang maroon brownish shade. So I'm going to apply this on the outer corner of my eyelids naman. Sa dulo lang talaga. Sa dulo lang talaga tayo maglalagay. Carry it up to the crease. So the blendability is so unbelievable. Ang ganda niya pag nagblend. Ayan. So I think this is already enough. As you can see. So I used three shades. From this palette, as you can see, <laughs> medyo satisfied now as a result na aking eye makeup. Now I'm going to proceed to the face. So there are a couple of stuff from the bundle na ita try natin sa ting face. First is the illuminating primer oil and ito mineral loose powder. So yung primer oil first time kung gumamit ng ganito and Nag-research ako, um, I've seen some beauty gurus use this primer oil. They either put it on their face first bago yung foundation or hinahalo nila sa foundation. So, ang gagawin ko is, I am going to do both no, on either side of my face. So, sa right side, ilalagay ko siya as is before ang foundation. And on the left side of my face, I am going to put it on with the foundation na. So, ilalagay ko siya sa foundation bago ko ilagay sa face ko. And let's see if there's a difference or same lang sila or mas madali ba yung isa kaysa dun sa isa. So, yun yung itatry natin ngayon. So, for the application of the foundation, I'm going to use a brush. And start tayo sa right side ng face where I am going to drop the uh, primer, illuminating primer first before ko siya is spread with my fingers and then maglalagay tayo ng foundation after. Ayan. So, ah! Kinakabahan ako. First time kong gamit, uh, first time akong gumamit ng ganito. So, magdadahan-dahan tayo. Ayan. So, drop lang natin. Oh my gosh! Wait lang. And then, sa face. So, ganito yung mga nakikita ko. Ginagawa nila. And then, let's spread it. Uh, nasan ko lang yung kilay. Mm, mabango siya. It has some sort of smell. Pero hindi ko siya ma pinpoint kung ano yung klaseng amoy. Parang oil okay lang din siya. Um, hindi ko masyadong na-feel yung glitters. Meron siyang mga glitters. And, yung gold thingy, yan yung parang glitters, glitters niya. Ayan. Pag, pinag, pag dinap ko naman siya sa face, may nakikita akong, oh, ay, yung parang glitters. Pero pag binlend ko na siyang ganyan, wala na. So, para lang akong naglagay ng oil. Ayan. Shiny na yung kabila. So, let's apply the foundation na. So, dito lang muna tayo sa right side pa rin ng face. So, I'm going to use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation from Maybelline. So, I'm going to use a brush. So, ang nangyari is hindi na matte yung finish ng matte plus poreless na foundation ng Maybelline. And it's quite oily. It feels quite oily. So, I don't think... Um, oily skin people are gonna like this. For me, it's okay. Kasi, 
normal to dry skin ako, pero parang hindi ko nga din siya bet. And parang mas sinishare niya yung coverage ng foundation. Although mas madaling i-blend yung foundation, <laughs> kasi nga masyadong, um, masyadong ano, gliding. You know, nag-glide lang yung product dun sa face because of the oil. This time, I'm going to apply the foundation and the rest of my face, pero yung foundation, ihahalo ko na yung primer oil prior to application. So, I'm going to drop some... Hindi ko alam kung gano'ng kadami, pero ayan, mga four drops. So, ihahalo natin siya. I'm going to mix it using the brush. Ayan. We'll see kung same lang yung kanyang result or mas maganda na nakahalo na siya. Bakit ganito? Parang mas mahirap siyang i-apply using a brush. Parang mas smooth yung kabila. Yung nilagyan ko muna ng ano. Magsa-sponge ako ha kasi nagsistreaky siya. Nagsistreaky siya yung in-apply ko. Mas bumuti yung lagay niya. And then, the finish is mas sheer yung dito sa kabila na nilagyan ko muna nung oil before the foundation. So, medyo mas may coverage yung dito sa kabila. Pero on application using a brush, mas naging streaky siya on application dito, probably because of the oil. Then, done here. Mas, ano, mas madali siyang i-apply. Mas madaling apply yung foundation dito. Mas madaling ma-blend. Yun dito, mabilis siyang ma-blend. Pero yun nga, nagiging streaky siya. Kaya ginamitan ko siya ng sponge. So, yung napansin ko is, probably because of the oil. It's not because of the, yung claim niya na illuminating siya and all that. And as you can see, parang naging glass skin yung face ko. Parang nagkaroon ako ng glass skin effect na nagre-reflect yung light but probably because it is so oily. But the finish, I like the finish of this more. Kasi nga, like I said, dito sa kabila, naging sheer yung coverage ng foundation pag apply ko. While in this one, mas ano siya, mas meron siyang coverage kaysa dito sa kabila. And so, maglalagay lang muna ako ng concealer and I'll be right back to try naman the setting powder. Now we're going to try the Mineral Loose Powder. So this is still included in the bundle. Ang lakas makasosyal ng packaging promise. So the shade pala that I got is a natural. So ayan, yun nga. Ang lakas makasosyal. Tingnan nyo. Meron pa siyang mirror dito sa ilalim. And the sponge is very, very, very soft. And as you can see, it didn't alter the shade of my foundation. Sinat lang talaga niya. And hindi siya ganun ka mattified. Nakikita ko pa rin yung kanyang... Nakikita ko pa rin yung... Yung sheen dun sa face ko. Because of the... Probably because of the... Yung primer oil. Pero like I said, na ano nga niya, na... Ito niya. <laughs> Naset niya yung kanya... Yung aking foundation. The powder set my face um, just right. Hindi niya na-mattify ng todo-todo yung face ko. Which I like kasi hindi siya naging ganun ka-flat tingnan. I am just going to do my brows and then I'll be right back for the next product that we are going to try on. Alright, so guys, let us now proceed to the next product that we are going to review which is also included in the anniversary bundle. So, this is the liquid eyeliner. Ayan. Okay, so matagal-tagal ako hindi nakakagamit ng ganitong klaseng eyeliner. So, I've been obsessed with um, pen liners lately. Magla-line tayo using this one. Like I said, I've been using pens a lot lately. Mga pen eyeliners because they are very, very easy to hold. Tapos mas sobrang dali nilang i-glide sa eyes. But this one, surprisingly, is also um, very quick to apply. Probably because the formula is really wet. Which also seems to be a little problematic for me. Kasi masyado siyang basa. Although, mabilis naman siyang mag-dry. And the problem is, uh, hindi siya ganun ka-dark talaga on first application. So, kailangan mo siyang i-apply ng several coatings before mo ma-achieve yung pagiging black ng eyeliner. So, I have a strong feeling na mabilis maubos tong product na to. <laughs> because like I said, sobrang wet niya. And 
hindi siya ganun ka black talaga on first application. So anyway, so that was the last product that is included in the anniversary bundle. I'm just going to finish up my look and I'll be back. And I'm back guys. So this is my final look. Um, habo lang. So naglagay ako nitong Polox na shade sa aking inner corners para ma-highlight siya. Here is my final look and I am very very satisfied with the finish of the products that I reviewed for today. I am going to tell you my final verdict. We will start with the liquid eyeliner. So the liquid eyeliner for me is okay. It's so-so. It's not something to rave about. I am not that happy with this product. I am also not that disappointed. I think pag naubo siya, hindi na ako bibili uli ng ganito. Okay, so let's go naman to the mineral loose powder. The packaging, wala akong masabi. It's very, very beautiful. Yung fact na meron siyang mirror, tapos yung puff niya, sobrang soft talaga. Kaya lang for me, medyo useless siya. Kasi mahirap siya eh. Pag, paano ka, pag kumuha kasi ng product, hindi naman siya napupush or anything. So, kailangan mong ibaliktad yung, yung lalagyan para makuha mo yung product dun sa puff. Sabi sa, ano, sabi sa description niya, so it provides a light coverage sa face. Pero napansin ko, as I applied it earlier, hindi naman talaga siya nagbigay na added coverage dun sa foundation ko. Yung grains niya, maninipis, pero hindi siya ganun ka-powdery na yung kumakalat-kalat siya pag nilalagay mo siya sa face. For me, this is good. Well, I recommend this one. This one is really good for me. Then, let's proceed naman to the illuminating Primer oil. So, like I said, first time kong gumamit ng ganito and sobrang hindi ko alam kung paano siya gamitin. Kaya, ayun, na uh, tinry ko yung dalawang ways na gamitin, na, 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 ah, parang na. <laughs> Sinubukan ko yung dalawang ways na, 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 ano ba? Yung dalawang ways kung paano siya gamitin, okay? Mas nagustuhan ko yung, yung inuna ko muna yung primer bago ko nilagay yung foundation. The only problem I had was, ayun nga, yung coverage ng foundation medyo nabawasan siya hindi ko masyadong na-appreciate yung yung kanyang glitters yung luminosity niya I want to try this um, with other foundations yung may mga super matte finish mayroong velvety finish yung mayroong satin finish so try ko kung okay ba siya sa lahat ng klaseng foundation kasi the one that I tried is yung matte ng finish and ayun nga hindi, niya, hindi naging matte yung finish niya which is good for me but probably not for oily skin people for me this is good this is uh, recommended so finally doon naman tayo sa sa parang pinaka-highlight ng review ko. So, the Metallics palette. And so, first and foremost, the packaging, it's pink. So, I love it. <laughs> Tapos, um, sobrang simple lang niya. Gusto ko yung, uh, yung fact na yung mirror niya is hindi talaga naka, naka balandra sa buong, ano, sa buong frame ng palette. So, yan lang. Kasi, sa mata lang naman din eh. So, pag tumingin kang ganyan, makikita mo yung mata mo, Okay na yun, di ba? And the colors, the colors are good. Ayun no, oh, grabe dumikit sa kamay oh. The colors are good. As you can see, um, it has a good range of color. Hindi naman ganun ka wide yung range niya. Kasi 21 colors lang to eh. Pero we have the gold, the bronzes, we have the pinks, yellows. So, merong mga warm colors. So, actually, mas madami siyang warm colors than the cool ones. Pero... Yun nga, gusto ko yung fact na meron siyang warm, meron din siyang cool. The color payoff, wala talaga akong masabi sa color payoff niya. As you can see, nakikita nyo naman sa eyes ko. Yung pigmentation niya talaga is great. Both using fingers dun sa swatches at saka using a brush. Kahit na synthetic brush yung ginamit ko. And the fallouts are very minimal. Overall, this anniversary bundle by Detail Makeover is very, very solid na talaga. For 999 pesos, you get these four products that are quite good already. No, parang, you cannot get these kinds of products from other brands for only 999 pesos. This is a very promising brand for me and I, I can't wait to try their other products. So, so din sila ayun ba? guys, uh, that was my review for the Detail Makeover Anniversary 2018 bundle and I hope that you liked my review and if you did, please hit like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!